Crack the Relic, draw a card. Mill our opponent. Untap. Mill our opponent. Ashiok. Mill our opponent. Four cards. Serum Visions. Uh, top and top. Mill our opponent. Two cards. Relic. And game. Taking down Storm. And the control yet. Uh oh. Bow it. Doing something. Desperate Ritual. Okay, down to 16. There's no way. There's no way. Desperate Ritual. No way. No way. No way. Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Card Kingdom. And right now, you can pre-order Zendikar Rising by heading over to CardKingdom.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Avrata Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and we got a sweet one this week. After playing some Teferi's Tutelage and Standard a few weeks ago, it rekindled my love for tutelages, so today we're heading to Modern for tutelage tribal mill essentially playing all the tutelage drawing all the cards milling all of our opponent's cards maybe even playing some games so let's talk about the deck jump right into the game starting with the original tutelage sphinx's tutelage so sphinx's tutelage three mana enchantment when we draw a card pony gets milled for two if those cards share a color they get milled again we can pay six to loot so sphinx's tutelage joins our newer tutelage to fairy's tutelage which is kind of the same thing we lose the potential for double hits we lose the expensive looting ability but we gain an enter the battlefield loot trigger which is actually kind of helpful that means if we have a bunch of tutelages teferi's tutelage is also a card draw spell a fairly cheap one to trigger our tutelages so idea of our deck as we play Sphinx's Tutelage, we play Teferi's Tutelage, then we start drawing cards. Almost every single other card in our deck, be it a counter spell, a bounce spell, uh, is drawing us cards in one way or another. So in the early game, we have Serum Visions, Thought Scour. These cards can dig to find our tutelages, and then after we have tutelages, they're just one mana, draw a card, trigger all of our tutelages. Thought Scour even can mill our opponent. We almost always want to target our opponent in this deck, so target our opponent, mill an extra couple cards for even more milling value. Then we have our card draw counter spells. Reman just bounces a spell essentially and draws us a card to trigger our tutelages. Sensor gives us a somewhat weak counter spell, but it is also a cycling card. So we can just cycle it when it's bad for one mana to trigger our tutelage, draw cards, mill our opponent. Blink of an eye gives us a bounce spell that draws us a card if we kick it. Then we have probably what I would consider our finishing card draw spells. These are the cards that once we get a couple of tutelages on the battlefield, allow us to almost combo off and like mill half of of our opponent's deck in the same turn. Frantic Inventory just draws one. Unless we have more copies in our graveyard, then it gets better and better and better. So when the late game is really powerful, being like a two mana draw two, draw three, draw four, Visions of Beyond, by far the best card draw spell in our deck. The most important card in our deck outside of our tutelages. So if we can get 20 cards in our opponent's graveyard, well, I mean, I guess technically our graveyard, but that's unlikely. If we get 20 cards in our opponent's graveyard with the help of our tutelages, it becomes an ancestral recall. Draw three at one mana for instant speed, which allows us to do ridiculous things with our tutelages milling our opponent we get our opponent to 20 cards then visions of beyond gonna draw us three give us at least three tutelage triggers three triggers from each tutelage we have so we're milling huge chunks of cards and those three cards we draw are probably gonna find us more card draw more visions of beyond so then we're able to just kind of go through a huge chunk of our deck and mill our opponent out all at once as far as non-card draw stuff we got two cards in our deck that technically don't draw us cards one is thing in the ice this is our defense spell hopefully play early in the game our deck is full of cheap spells cast the spells flip it bounce all of our opponent's stuff we don't really plan on attacking with it but we can who knows maybe we get a thing in the ice beat down win but really it's a bounce spell that leaves behind a big body that we can use to stop our opponent's creatures because what we really need to do in this deck is just stall out for a few turns that is a key aspect of this deck buying us to like turn five turn six staying alive that long to get our tutelages online then winning when that one big mill turn otherwise ashiac dream render main deck graveyard hate that is also a mill spell milling four when we activate it so it can mill up to 20 cards by itself and in some matchups shutting down our opponents searching their library with like fetch lands from evil titans is relevant as well mana base wise we've turned to the dark side i know i know i know after complaining about mystic sanctuary a million times we are now playing mystic sanctuary although mystic sanctuary is actually really insane in this deck what mystic sanctuary does is support those combo turns by putting a spell back on our deck so what we could do is like cast divisions of beyond draw three trigger our tutelages, play Mystic Sanctuary for our land drop to put Visions of Beyond back on top of our deck, then cast a Serum Visions, Thought Scour, whatever, to draw our Visions of Beyond again, cast Visions of Beyond again, draw three more
Star cards get a huge chunk of tutelage triggers, and that's enough to kill most opponents. Even if they have like half their library or more going, that type of turn on like turn five, turn six is usually enough to actually win the game. Sideboard wise, Relic of Progenitus, since we're a mill deck, we really got to be careful about graveyard stuff. Like, we're helping dredge players or reanimation players, even Uro players. So, having enough graveyard hate, really essential. Damping Sphere for combo decks, Equi Truth, Dismember, and Golf the Shore, more removal, Negate Disdainful Stroke for control, and that is Tutelage Tribal Mill for Modern. That's our budget magic deck for this week. So let's jump into some games, see if we can draw some cards, mill opponents out with all the tutelages. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with the wrap up. All right. Budget magic time. We are tutelage tribaling. <laughs> oh, oh no. Don't be burned. Don't be burned. I mean, we have tutelage one. We could use more. I think we just play... Hmm. Yeah, let's spend our Mystic Sanctuary. Pass the turn. I feel like we gotta make sure we curve out here. So taking the turn off isn't the end of the world. Next turn we can leave up remands and frantic inventories. Steam vents for our opponent. Well, it's not burn. Field of Ruin and opponent. Passes. Well, Island Go. Pass the turn. If we need to, we can censor. If we don't need to, we can... Frantic Inventory? Omen of the Sea. Sure. So, our main challenge is getting down a tutelage. If we can get down a tutelage, then we can start drawing cards. But our opponent seems to be a control deck of some kind. Flooded Strand. And passes. Well, we will. Frantic Inventory draw a card. Untap. Plan Island. Serum Visions. Um. Hmm. All right, bottom the island. We'll top the Visions of Beyond for now. Pass the turn. Well, can we get to the point where we can... Where we can get down a Teferi's tutelage. Mona cracks. Then the fun begins. Steam vents. Untapped. Okay. Is this like a through the breach deck? All right. Opponent sacks Omen of the Sea to scry. Well, we would love for our opponent to just tap out for something that we could remand. Two cards to the top. Island and opponent passing. Well, let's thought scour our opponent. Mill what they left on top. Okay, opponent runs out Omen of the Sea to draw what they left on top. Yep. Well, they get milled. <sighs> yeah, let's cycle sensor. Untap. Play an island. Pass the turn. Well, we'll see. Next turn is hopefully a turn where we can get down a tutelage. Perhaps even with backup. Steam vents tapped. Opponent. Passing. Well, all right. Uh, frantic inventory. Draw two. All lands. Untap. <sighs> Play an island. Tutelage. Please resolve. Opponent has remand. All right. We'll let that go. We'll pass the turn. Discard an island. About it. Opponent's not making it easy to resolve a tutelage. If we ever do resolve it, though. Ooh, opponent's missing a land drop. Interesting. All right. Well, we untap. Mystical Sanctuary. Get back. Frantic Inventory. Tutelage. Again. Do we have more counters? Oh, okay. We're actually pretty fine with this. If we get Tutelage down, we don't especially care. Deprive. All right, so we will remand the Deprive. Draw a card. Tutelage. Loot. Uh, discard an island. Mill you. All right. Please don't kill us. We actually got the tutelage down, but if our opponent just, like, threw the breaches or something, we don't have any defense. Mountain. Through the breach. Ooh, no. Oh, Chandra. Okay. Well, Chandra is also bad for us, but it might be possible for us to beat a Chandra. If we can mill our opponent enough to turn on these visions from beyond, or draw some more card draw, then it becomes very interesting. Sensor. So mill our opponent for two. Uh, cycle sensor. Mill our opponent for two. Sphinx's tutelage. Mystical sanctuary. Get back. Thought scour. All right, two tutelages is good. We're on the Chandra clock. We got to reach Chandra ultimate, basically. Pass the turn. Leave up the remand. I kind of like where we're at, though. With two tutelages... We're almost to turning on these visions from beyond, and that is a lot of tutelage triggers. Like, that is so many. And after we resolve the visions at full power, 
Then we can potentially start... Ooh, takes up for mana. Oh, are we going to lose here? Ugh. niv mizit Perun. Well, that's not a May ability. All right, let's remand to draw a card. Mill you. I think we get the combo kill through this Niv. Thought scour you. All right, here comes the triggers. Mill. Oh my goodness, double hit, double hit, double hit. Mill. Mill. Oh, we got it easy. Oh, we got it super easy. Sure, Niv us. Niv away, my friend. This actually helps us, I think, because our opponent has to draw cards off of it. They have a million cards in their graveyard. They get milled, they get milled. And these Visions of Beyond should just finish it for sure. Opponent, down to 11. Well, Visions of Beyond. Sure, ping us, draw a card. That's fine. Visions of Beyond! That is tutelage triggers for days, and that is game. That is game, game, game. About it, scoops it up, and that went surprisingly well. That went surprisingly well. So opponent is, apparently, is it control? Okay. So we can bring in, hmm, probably like negate, disdainful stroke, Dis I don't even know if we want dismember. It is somewhat tempting because Niv is uncounterable. I think we go down the things in the ice. Go down thing in the ice. And maybe we just go up to Echoing Truce. We probably don't actually have to kill the Niv. Just bouncing is probably fine. Plus, that's a way we can reset a Chandra, which is a concern. Like, Chandra ultimating probably kills us. Yeah, okay. I mean... We got some card draw. No two two leeches yet. I expect our boat's gonna be more aware of what we're doing now. The downside is if they can stop our tutelages, things become much more difficult. Well, land and certain visions. Uh, do we want sensor? We definitely want remand, I think. And let's go sensor bottom remand top. Pass the turn. We already have a sensor and other counter spells. Harder counter spells. Opponent cracks. Grabs a steam vents tapped. Island for our opponent passes. Well, island goo. Decent island, I would say. Uh, opponent adapts. Field of ruin and passing. Well, let's start drawing cards. Frantic inventory. Draw mystic sanctuary. Play the island. Serum visions. Hmm. We definitely want the tutelage. Do we also want Ashiok? And let's go Ashiok bottom, tutelage top. Pass the turn. We already have an Ashiok. Uh, about it. Undaps. Ooh, missing land drops? That would be good for us. All right, opponent passes. We untap. Well, Mystical Sanctuary. Get back. Serum Visions. Pass the turn. We might cast this Visions of Beyond just to cycle here and trust that we draw into more later uh about it uh all right let's yeah let's cast visions of beyond draw the serum visions get an island this also forces our opponent to thin the uh thin their deck which probably isn't great for them missing land drops opponent passing well cycle sensor eh, there's some land all right opponent's discarded to hand size well, I mean, now we get to tutelage with counter backup, which is good. Discards a bolt. Well, play the land. Tutelage. Mystical dispute. Uh, all right, we'll let that go. Pass the turn. Yeah, mystical dispute is good. Abundant. Uh, Omen of the sea, looking for lands. Two cards to the bottom. Well, we're back to the same place as before, where it's all about us being able to draw land. Or all about us being able to... Well, drawing land would be helpful, but it's all about us being able to resolve a... A tutelage at some point. Thought Scour, well... Um... Tutelage. Opponent remands tutelage. Okay. Well, pass the turn. Opponent does have many counters. I will give them credit for many counters. Opponent cracks the Arid Mesa. Steam Vents. Tapped. Undeps. Ooh, hitting the lands, hitting the lands. All right. Thing in the ice. Okay. Opponent passing. Well, we will thought scour our opponent. Untap. Tutelage. Opponent has Archmage's Charm, but we will remand Archmage's Charm. Resolve a tutelage. Finally. 
loot, mill our opponent. Oh, discard. You know what? I think we're discarding Ashiok. Discard Ashiok, mill our opponent. Mystical Sanctuary. Get back Visions of Beyond. Serum Visions. Put on... Ooh. Hmm. Put on top, put on top. Mill our opponent. Pass the turn. All right, opponent, you need a good one. Or you need to find a way to, well, I mean, you need to kill us and or deal with tutelage. Because we're going to start really milling starting next turn. Opponent, land. And passing. Okay. Well, we get to draw the land, which is good. We mill our opponent. 40 cards in the graveyard. We play the land. We serum visions. Put on top. Put on top, mill our opponent. Frantic inventory. Opponent cracks. Gets a mountain. Archmage's charm. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah, pass the turn. We're close. We're super close. About it. All right. Well, we will echo a true thing in the eyes. Opponent gets to scry. Oh, they're a single card away from turning out visions of Vyad. And we have multiple tutelages left in hand. All right, opponent, two cards to the top. Untaps. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? The tutelages might be getting there. Opponent, replacing in the ice. Sure. Chandra. Well, we will disdainful stroke. 20 cards in the graveyard. That's what we want to see. Can we win the game this turn? Opponent passes. Mill our opponent. Sphinx's his tutelage. Visions of beyond. Oh, another one. We got him. We got him. We got him. This is exactly what we envisioned with this deck. Mill, 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 mill. About it. Yeah. 25, 23, 21, 19, 17. Well, we will. Visions of beyond. Get some triggers. Mill ya. Man, once this gets going, it goes really fast. Visions of beyond is absurd in this deck. And our opponent scoops it up. Tutelage tribal. Okay. That was a uh, that was that was pretty good. Pony had all the control stuff, but boy, I mean that is that is exactly how we want this to work out. Just kind of like draw some cards, find our tutelages, and then once we get two tutelages, two two tutelages, uh, you can uh, give me a bad grade on that one if you want. That things get out of hand really quick. Like you see, like we get two of them, and then with visions of beyond in specific. Whoo! All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are tutelage tribaling here in uh, here in modern and silent clearing for our opponent. All right, I mean this is a uh, this is a fine dad. We got a tutelage. We got some card draw. Let's serum visions. Get things set up. Go dig in. Uh, I think we put thing in the ice to the bottom. Even though we'll keep the we'll keep the tutelage. Uh, two tutelages is better than one usually. Two tutelages. Um, so I think thing in the ice. While it probably is good, Pawn's probably some sort of death and taxes deck. But uh, it probably is good in the matchup. The problem is it also dies, and a black white deck likely be able to kill it. Well, play the land, pass the turn, leave up our counter spells, and then next turn we start getting down tutelages. Opponent planes and Eldrazi Displacer. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, censor that. Might as well get censor value while we can. And then I think we just untap and slam a tutelage. Like, what's <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? All right, so censor resolves. No sneaky Simeon Spear guides. <laughs> Opponent passes. Island add tutelage. Get it going. It is a little awkward that our opponent's got Devoid creatures, and probably, like, Thought Not Seer's Color is Eldrazi, because that's going to fizzle our our double uh, our double hits. It's going to be hard to get double hits against this deck. Wow, opponent's passing with four mana? Okay. Well, Melia, start the fun. And, you know, I think we're just going to play another Tutelage. Like, play the land first. It's not impossible our opponent has mana dive. Tutelage. And now we actually have pretty fast milling, and if we can hit some double hits, then things get really exciting. Opponent. Resto, sure. And undeps. Opponent does not have a super fast clock. They must have, like, a handful of removal, I would guess, which is great for us. Opponent. Gets it. It's us. Down to 17. Sure. Well. Oh, wait. Okay. Leona and Arbiter's okay. Like, even if they 
kill one of our lands is not the end of the world. It's not great. Thalia would be obnoxious. That would slow us down. Displacer. All right. Well, Thoughtscour, mill you. Mill you, mill you. Give us a double hit. Ooh, all right. That's a double hit. And double hit. All right. Pointed out to 37. Not bad. Getting there. Untap. Goal number one is to make sure we get our opponent over 20 cards, which we can do pretty easily. They're up to 19. So we can cycle sensor us turn there might be a chance we win this turn cycle sensor double mill that turns on ancestral uh visions of beyond <laughs> actually ancestral recall it turns it into an ancestral recall visions of beyond draw three that is six tutelage triggers i think we just win here and then we can mystical sanctuary it back and draw it immediately and that should just be enough triggers to win, even without getting lucky double heads. Pwned down to 15. Mystical Sanctuary for Visions of Beyond. And yeah, I mean, we got it. Wow! This is a turn 5 kill. Turn 5 is, I think, as fast as our deck can possibly win. Mill you. Mill you. Visions return. Nine cards in the deck. Six triggers. That's at least 12. And that is game. And that was... <laughs> that was a super impressive win. That is... As good as it gets for tutelage, I think. All right. Uh, so sideboarding, bringing all of our removal, I think. Go down, Ashiox, and and one sensor. Run it like that. Well, that went about as good as the game could go. We'll see. So now I think since our opponent didn't see thing in the ice, thing in the ice should get better now. Um. All right. We'll keep this. We got a tutelage. Opponent mulliganing. All right. Planes and. Thalia is really good against us. We would like to avoid that. Well, Island Go. Uh, opponent. Planes. And. Ooh, passing? Okay, we like this. Uh, we'll Thought Scour you. Draw some cards. Untap. Um, play the land and. Yeah, let's just pass? What could they play this turn? Actually, you know what? Let's play Thing in the Ice. Play Thing in the Ice, pass the turn. Containment Priest, okay. So that I assume our opponent brought in just because. They didn't have enough good sideboard cards. Chef at Dunes. And Displacer. All right. Board increasing. Opponent passes. Another island. We'll play on the island. And yeah, I mean, tutelage. So we came here to do. Pass the turn. Now we would like to start drawing non-lands, honestly. Opponent. Another land. I guess this Displacer can kind of keep thing in the ice in check if we started to get close to flipping it. Ugh, Thalia. All right. That isn't very annoying. Opponent. Gets in, gets in. Well, we will block. Take two. Down to 18. Opponent passes. We do like dismember. Um, hmm. Well, kill Thalia. Hmm. Yeah, let's Mystical Sanctuary the Thought Scour. Pass the turn. Opponent is down to two cards, which is nice. So we can leave up Sensor. If our opponent doesn't do anything we need to Sensor, we can cycle it in Tutelage. And then also Thought Scour. Like, goal number one is to get to the point where we can where we can draw three with this vision from beyond. That is that is first step. We're down to 12. Well, cycle sensor, mill our opponent. Thought scour, our opponent. So opponent's going to blink. All right. So opponent gets rid of our thing in the ice. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Mill our opponent, mill our opponent. 11 cards. Oh, another visions. Come on, double hit, double hit. 13. Oh, if we can get to this visions, maybe. Cycle sensor, mill our opponent. 15. Frantic Inventory. Mill our opponent. Well, play the island, pass the turn. Okay, okay. This blink of an eye can buy us some more time, potentially. And we're almost to Visions from Beyond. We are so close, opponent. Leon and Arbiter. Sure. The combo of Eldrazi Displacer Containment Priest is pretty cute. Opponent going to get in. Well, alright. Bounce Displacer. Drop to 10. Any card draw spell is great. We just need to mill one extra card. Opponent. Phyraxine Revoker. Okay, not relevant. Well, it does speed up the clock. We have two turns. We have two turns to win, I think. Oh, a double hit here would be insanely helpful. Or just any cheap card draw spell so we can mill one more time. Okay, that works. That works. All right, mill you. Down to 19. Well, frantic inventory. Mill you. Eh, we're going. We're going all the way. Visions of Beyond. Mill you. Mystical Sanctuary, get back Visions of Beyond. Thought Scour, mill you. 15, Visions of Beyond, mill you. Come on, double hit, double hit. 13, 11, 9, now we're going for it. Visions of Beyond. 
seven, five. Oh, and the double hit hit the end for the win. <laughs> yes. Yes. All the combo kills. Discard, discard, discard. Wow. All the white cards at the end. And we and we got there. And our opponent's dead. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that was tutelage power. That was the tutelage power. Well, that was beautiful. Like, we had, that was about as good as our deck can do. T uh, on the draw, both games, turn five, turn six kills. That was actually pretty impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, two, two. <laughs> All right, budget magic time. We are playing some tutelage tribal mill in modern. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Snow-covered plains for our opponent. Interesting. Well, Island Goat. So we don't have any tutelages yet. But we do have plenty of defense to buy us time. Snow-covered plains. And, oh boy, it's a Srom deck. Okay. That's a little scary. Well, we'll play Thing in the Ice. Pass the turn. I guess if there's good news, it's that our opponent drawing a bunch of cards is going to hopefully get them closer to milling out, maybe? Perhaps? Griffspoon. Yep. Yeah. I guess the question's gonna be, are we gonna be fast enough to stop this before we just die? A fair, oh boy, probably not. That's a five power SRAM and a million power SRAM. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Opponent gets in, hits us. Uh, so we need like a one mana cantrip maybe. That might give us hope. Another, ugh, so many remands. So little help. Well, play the land. I guess we gotta pass the turn and try to remand. Oh boy. Yeah, this is uh, not ideal, I would say. Not quite ideal. Oh, pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Another land. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just, we're super dead. <laughs> super duper dead. Remand, draw a card. We're just not gonna be able to flip this ramen time. Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> well, okay. So, opponent won the die roll, and they had a very fast ROM star. So, that was not great for us, I would say. Hmm. <laughs> um, we get two dismembers, two echoing truths, and that's probably it. We'll go down the Ash Yox and go down, I guess, one sensor. So, the challenge is going to be. Yeah, we could bring in the negate. Actually, sensor does... St if we're on the play, sensor does stop SRAM, which is something. Hmm. Uh, maybe we don't negate. And, yeah, what else do we cut? And let's get on a remand. Run it like that. Remand's not especially good against what our opponent's doing. Hey, this, could be, this could be interesting. Yeah, it seems like a tough one. I think aggro is probably not our best matchup. We need to play first. Um, well, we're going to keep this. It's risky if we don't hit a second land. But we can actually kill a SRAM, which is uh, pretty valuable. Opponent, snow-covered planes. Uh, we definitely got a Visions to try to hit a land. Frantic inventory. Oh, boy. All right. Not good. Not good at all. Ooh, very disappointing, even. Core Spirit Dancer. Well, okay. We do get to kill that. It does cost us a bunch of life, but our opponent's deck hopefully doesn't have that many creatures. Land, land, land. Oh, wow. Five tutelages. <laughs> opponent passes. Unfortunately, oh, a six. What are the odds? They are not good. Oh my goodness. What are the chances? Have we just drawn a tutelage every turn of this game? Oh, opponent finds a creature. That's bad news. Opponent passes. Well, Thought Scour. Mill our opponent. Uh, all right. Well, wow, that was awkward. That was... <laughs> that was the most awkward. Uh, we will discard a tutelage. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we... Wow. We did not have that many tutelages to start with. That is the weirdest draw I've ever seen. Opponent gets in. Yeah, there's just not really a way we can recover from here. Well, hmm, I don't know. I honestly I honestly think I would keep that hand again. I think I would snap keep it. So, Sram is, or Core Spirit Dancer, like, those just run away with the game. 
So I feel like <sighs> one land, a cantrip, and a dismember is something we got to keep, especially since presumably if we get to two lands, we frantic inventory into whatever we need. But wow, we just drew two villages every turn of that game, and that uh, did not help us. <laughs> yeah, okay. This game gave a whole new meaning to a uh, tutelage tribal. <laughs> All right, budget magic time. We are tutelage tribaling in modern, and uh, eh, sounds fine ish. No tutelage, but mm, we got card draw. We got some defense. Got a Ashiok, which can be good. Uh, all right, so let's island and serum visions. Eh, all right, not bad. Another land we did need, and a tutelage, and a frantic inventory, which is going to end up being a bunch of card draw eventually. Let's see what our opponent's doing. Zelfrin's Void. Huh. Okay. Maybe like Eldrazi Tron? I guess would be my first guess. Scries to the top. And passes. Well, I guess we just think in those. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent. Snow Covered Mountain. Uh, I guess it could be, like, Scred. Oh, come on, Blood Moon Us. Blood Moon Us. Yes! <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Blood Moon doesn't really do anything. So it's Prison, I see. Well, we will play... Sphinx is tutelage, pass the turn. I mean, Blood Moon does shut down uh, Mystic Sanctuary, so that does do something, but it's not going to keep us from casting spells. We're mostly islands. Uh, booted. Snow Covered Mountain. We would like to draw land. That would be our ideal, ideal draw. Seasoned Pyromancer. All right, so opponent making some threats. Discards, braid Magus of the Moon, make some dorks, sure. And land, thing in the ice. All right, well, tutelage, mill you. Yeah, I guess we gotta pass. Ugh. It's tempting to frantic inventory and try to hit a land, but I'm very worried about Chandra. Chandra's the card that scares me here. So I feel like we need to leave up remand. Yeah, there's Chandra. So remand Chandra, counter off thing in the ice, draw a card, tutelage mill. We should get some good double hits out of this. Eh, all right, Thought Scour, mill you. Counter off thing in the ice. Can we hit a land, land, land? Not yet. All right. Well, mill, double hit. Down to 39. Mill, no double hit. Uh, opponent. Gets in, gets in, gets in. Sure. So we will block. Oh, come on, land. Or one mana cantrip. Sensor, that's neither. Well, mill. Well, all right. I guess this means we got a frantic inventory. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. All right. Thought Scour works. Mill our opponent. Um, yeah, let's just pass. We can wait for our opponent to tap, and then we'll Thought Scour and flip. All right. There's Chandra. So we will Thought Scour our opponent. Flip it. Bounce your stuff. Mill you. And now we can actually kill the Chandra, too. Well, there's a land. Which is actually fine. I mean, we're just going to mill our opponent out pretty quickly here, I think. Chandra takes up for mana. Bridge? All right, has the bridge. That's fine, though, because we're planning on winning with tutelage anyway, so. Opponent gets milled down to 26. Well, I guess step one is play Mystic Sanctuary. Frantic Inventory. Draw a couple cards. Mill you. Oh, boy. That was a good one. That was a real good one. And uh, pass the turn. Well, I think we just win next turn. How many... So, if we play second tutelage, cycle, cycle... Yeah, I guess we're going to need a double hit somewhere in there, but we're pretty... Cl I think we can race this Chandra, and I don't think Free Win Red can get rid of our tutelage, so... <laughs> this is not the matchup Free Win Red is built for. Ooh, Karn. That's interesting. Hmm. Does that change anything? Tutors with Karn for Lake Metal. All right, going to start attacking our... Mana. Well, let's censor it. This does mean it's going to take us a little bit longer to win, I think, but it was going to take us longer anyway because they shut down one of our lands. Pona passes. Unless we just draw a card draw. Eh, yeah, certain visions. Mill you down to 14. Well, play tutelage. Serum visions. Bottom, bottom. Mill you. 12. Mill you. 10. Island. Serum visions bottom top 
Mm, come on, double hits, double hits. Eight. Four. All right. Well, our opponent's basically got to kill us this turn, and I don't think they can. Chandra doesn't ultimate till next turn. And then we don't even got to do anything. Tutelages in our draw step should close it out. Opponent, Rabble Master. Sure, that's a good one. But a little late to the party. Takes up Chandra, down to 16. Well, I mean, I guess upside is we don't care about most of the hate cards. We do care about Chalice of the Void, but we don't care about Bridge or Blood Moon. And about it, scoops it up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Two, two, two. <laughs> uh, so, hmm. Bad news is we don't have a ton for this. We'll bring in Disdainful Stroke. We'll bring in the Gate. We'll bring in the Echoing Truce. Go down the Ashiox. And is there anything else we want to change? I could see bringing in Dismember. Like, Rabble Master is a concern. If our opponent just plays a Rabble Master, that probably beats us. What do we cut, though, is the problem. We want all of our cards. I guess Eidolon also is really bad for us, so we probably do have to bring it in. Maybe we, like, go down a sensor? Go down a couple sensors and a thought scour? Eh, all right, we'll go down one. We'll go down one to fairy's tutelage. Actually, let's go down a thing in the ice. All right, thing in the ice. Let's do it like that. Yeah, it's tough. We want to just focus on spells and milling our opponent out, but we also got to not just get janked out by a creature. Eh, all right. Well, this hand has card draw. Doesn't have a tutelage, but double frantic inventory is a lot of card draw, and a remand can maybe buy us some time. We'll see how fast and frightening our opponent's hand is. You never know when they could have the free win hand. Although, as I said before, we are pretty resilient to most of the free win cards. Bonnet, Mountain, and Piasson. You know, Island, go. Opponent, Zelfrin's Void. Sure. To the bottom. Well, there's a the chalice, so we will. Thought Scour, mill our opponent. So this is a one hate card that does do something against us. Like, stop our certain visions. Although, eventually we can bounce it and counter it, potentially. Opponent. Ooh, passing? All right. Well, we will. Frantic inventory. Ugh. No more one drops, please. <laughs> eh, all right. Echoing truth. Well, play the island. Pass the turn. We might just bounce this chalice. Opponent has another void. To the top. Blood Moon. All right, so we will just Echoing Truth, Chalice of the Void. Thought Scour, our opponent. This does get rid of our Mystical Sanctuary, at least for now. Oh, there's Visions. Oh, we need a Tutelage. A Tutelage. Well, play an Island, pass the turn. I mean, we'll draw it eventually. Just Brute Force card draw, hit it eventually. <laughs> uh, opponent. <clears throat> Desperate Ritual, sure. I mean, we'll just remand whatever our opponent does. Chalice on two. Remand. And Frantic Inventory draw two. Hmm, thing in the ice, eh? Now there's a Tutelage. So play the land, play Tutelage. Pass the turn. So next step is opponent 20 cards in Graveyard for Visions of Beyond. We've gotten rid of two Karns, which is nice. Not only because Karn is good, but also because that's a colorless card that can ruin our double hits. Opponent, Chalice on two. We will remand. Mill some cards. Untap. Ugh, nothing. Um, well, play Thing in the Ice. Serum Visions. Bottom and definitely bottom. Milio. Well, Mystical Sanctuary, Tutelage. Wow, we fit a ton of lands, but I think it's okay. Pass the turn. Worst case, we can start looting with our Tutelage. <laughs> if nothing else is going on. And we put two more lands to the bottom, so hopefully we we just need to hit a little more card draw. All right, Chandra's fine. Kills our thing in the ice. Sure. Wow. If we need a cheap cantrip, we might be able to win this turn. Oh, boy. We definitely win this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Frantic inventory is the best. Draw three. That is a lot of triggers. Mill you, mill you. That will definitely turn on this Visions. And that should do it. Pony down to 18. Visions. Trigger, 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 trigger. Eight, six, two, zero. 
boy, that's the power of this deck. That is the power of the deck. Once a milling gets going, it goes insane. It is so good. And we got the GG's. Wow. I mean, I love me some free win red, but that was a impressive tutelage performance. Like, the velocity of the deck once it gets going is actually super impressive. Obviously, that was what, turn seven that we went off? But once we get a couple of tutelage on the battlefield, the odds of us winning in the next turn or two are really high. All right, two, two. <laughs> Uh, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some tutelage tribal in modern, and we got tutelages. We'll see what our opponent's up to. Boy, tutelages for days. Uh, how many tutelages is too many tutelages? I think we put Ashiak to the bottom. I think we actually put tutelage to the bottom too. I think we'd rather hit card draw since we already have two tutelages in hand. I think. We want to, uh, slight of hand, so our opponent's probably storming. Since we already have two tutelages in hand, I think we need to, uh, hit card draw rather than more tutelages at the moment. Well, island and thing in the ice, that's not a bad thing to do at the moment. Although, storm, I think, is mostly about sideboard cards. The counters are okay in game one, but honestly, this is going to be a, a tough game one matchup, I think. Opponent plays a brawl. Well, play the land and yeah, play a tutelage. Discard a blink of an eye. Mill our opponent and die. <laughs> uh, booted. Pyratic ritual into gifts ungiven and that is game. All right. Yeah, I mean you can't really win from this board state, so we will scoop it up. I mean, even if it if we untap, there's not a whole lot we can do there. Uh, so we'll bring in Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Damping Spheres, Relic of Progenitus's Progeniti, and probably Dismembers as well. We're going to bring in it all. We are going to go down Blink of an Eye. We're going to go down... Well, Ashiok actually does have some value. How do we bring in this many cards, though? Ashiok does shut down Gifts Ungiven, which is a thing. What do we cut, though? Like, what can we possibly cut? Maybe we can't bring in all four relics if we're keeping the Ashiox. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we gotta actually cut, like, two tutelages? And, wow, the remands and thing in the ice? Yeah, let's do something like that. And we'll keep the, we'll keep all the relics. Full-on graveyard hate, couple of hard counters. Removal, hope for the best. All right, we get to play first, and okay, this is fine. Well, land and Serum Visions. Thought Scour top, Island top top, pass the turn. Uh, opponent, Spire Bluff, and passes. So I think we will just leave up Sensor here, since it can actually hit a Mana Dork. All right, opponent Ops. Brawl and Electromancer are essentially Mana Dorks in this deck, although way better than a typical Mana Dork. Spire Bluff can ail for our opponent. And Sleight of Hand. Ooh, they're not... They don't actually have a Brawl. Interesting. Well, let's Thought Scour our opponent. And Thought Scour our opponent. Untap. Play the land. Ashiok. Oh, no. All right. That's really bad. So now he might be dead. Oh, that is the worst. That is the worst. Opponent untaps. Spire Bluff Canal passes. Drawing a land would be sweet. Dismember. Well, we will play Relic. Pass the turn, I think. Opponent. Team Vents. Untapped. Well, Thought Scour, our opponent. Mill some cards. Exile a card. Untap. <laughs> Mystic Sanctuary. I don't even know if we want to put anything on top. We could take a Thought Scour. Yeah, let's not. No, nothing on top. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Island. And passing. Well, exile a card. Frantic Inventory. Uh, not a land. Cycle Sensor. Untap. 
I don't play Ashiok. Ooh, resolves. Well, Ashiok you. That's pretty good. Oh, cast that gifts. Oh, they repeal it. Okay. All right. Well, we still get the trigger. We still exile a bunch of stuff. Uh, pass the turn. Oh, I don't know if this is going well or not. I have no idea at the moment. Opponent. Untaps. Shivan Reef. Goblin Electromancer. Yeah, being pinched on land has been problematic. Opponent passing. Well, Dismember Electromancer. Opponent has Remand. Yep. Well, Exile Remand. Untap. Dismember Electromancer. Ashiok. Again. Mill you. Pass the turn. Wow, this is so awkward. We haven't been able to get out of tutelage, but we're fighting the good fight. <laughs> what a weird way for this. I'm very scared, though, because our opponent can just... Theoretically, they have so many lands, they could theoretically just combo off basically at any moment. Opponent plays a land. Well, we will exile Serum Visions. Untap. All right, there's a land which is good. Ashiok you. Serum Visions. Well, put on top, put on top. Those are good if we live that long. Sphinx's Tutelage. Pass the turn. I mean, we don't have any counters, so no point in, uh... No point in messing around with it. Bout it. Seeing beds. Like, we can't bluff. Ugh, I don't think there's any point in trying to bluff. We might as well just try to kill our opponent. Untap. That's not great. Ritual. Another ritual. I mean, maybe our opponent just makes a bunch of goblins and hopes that that's enough. Ritual. Two cards in hand. Grape shot. To kill the Ashiok and then gifts ungiven? All right. So Ashiok down. Opponent's last card. It's got to be gifts, right? Gifts ungiven. Okay. I think this is okay, though. I think we can get through this. Opponent. Because we have the relic activation still. So as long as we put... Yeah, I think we're okay. So we put... Let's think about this. M Past in Flames and Manamorphose in the Graveyard. Then if our opponent tries to Past in Flames... Actually, we can do it right now. Relic. And got him. The hate cards come through. Whoo, okay. Whoo! Well, it is possible we beat Storm. It's not completely impossible. Uh, maybe... Sen so now I think we go on Sensors for remands because on the draw sensor can't actually stop any of our opponent's creatures the brawls and electromancers uh, mm, i think we got mulligan this we have no hate cards uh, okay now we have lots of hate cards that i like we will put a i guess frantic inventory to the bottom for now all right well, I mean, Relic into Damping Sphere into Ashiok is essentially the most amount of hate that our deck can possibly pack in this matchup. So if this isn't enough, then it's just a bad matchup. <laughs> because this is like literally every card we have that is somewhat good against our opponent's deck. You know, play the land. Relic. Exile. Your Serum Visions. Keeping the graveyard in check. Uh, opponent put both cards on top. All right, pass the turn. Opponent. Steam Vents. Untapped. And Electromancer. Sure. Well, Land and Damping Sphere. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gets and hits us. Sure. Down to 18. I mean, maybe they can win by beating us down. Opponent passes. Now play a land. Play... Hmm. Damping Sphere? Number two? Okay, opponent remands. Well, exile the remand. Pass the turn. No. Huh? Oh. Really? Yeah. All right. Electromancer is getting our opponent around the stamping sphere to some extent. Opponent. Island. Serum Visions. I mean, how many counters can they possibly have? One to the top, one to the bottom. Well, we untap. After dropping to 16. A land would be spectacular, so we could do multiple things. Opponent passes. Well, we will keep exiling. Damping Sphere. Do you have another counter? Oh, is this another remand? Mystical Dispute. All right. Ooh, that's not good. Opponent's got the answers. Opponent's got the answers. Pass the turn. Opponent. Steam Vents. Also not good. Untapped. And 
Gonna get in and hit us. I am not feeling confident at all now. They are up to Gifts Ungiven, which is where we don't want our opponent to be. Down to 14. Pieces of the puzzle. Gets two Mana Morphoses, I assume. Takes Mana Morphos Desperate Ritual. Well, we will Visions of Beyond. Finally hit a land. Play a land. Ashiok. All right, Desperate Mana Morphos. Oh, please tell me you don't hit a counter. Yeah. All right, Ashiok resolves. So we get to Ashiok our opponent, get rid of the graveyard, pass the turn. All right, that was good. That was good. That was a hit. Ooh, opponent. Untaps. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, what a match. Opponent, combat. Probably going to hit our Ashiok, I assume. Yeah. Hits us. Down to 14. Tap land. Passes. Hmm. Well, as you got our opponent, Serum Visions, bottom and, eh, bottom and, do we want Dismember? Ooh, bottom, bottom, pass the turn. So opponent gets to kill Ashiok, they're down to 30 cards. Opponent untaps, goes to combat. We did get rid of an empty of the Warrens, which is something. Kills our Ashiok, sure, we untap. Oh, play an island, tutelage. Manamorphos. Trying to find another counter, I assume. All right, no counter. We get to loot. We will discard. Oh boy. Ugh, I think the second tutelage, unfortunately. Exile Manamorphos. Pass the turn. Well, in Damping Sphere, we trust. Opponent untaps. 25 cards in their deck. Goes to combat. Hits us down to 12. Passes. Well, mill our opponent. Relic our opponent. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Combat. Hits us to 10. If we lose to this Goblin Electromancer, PD is down. That would be <laughs> an embarrassment to uh, <laughs> two tutelage decks everywhere. Opponent. Aria Flame. Um, so I think we reman that. That could kill us. Opponent's going to remand. Okay. Wait, we're already remanding Aria Flame. And our opponent is remanding also Aria Flame. So all this does is make us not draw? Okay. I mean, we would like to draw. But we'd also like to have this negate in hand. Hmm. I feel like this decision is more or less the entire game... Do we want to fight the counter war? You know what? I think we're going for it. Negate our opponent's remand. Remand the Aria Flame. Mill our opponent. Opponent passes. We untap. Mill our opponent. Ashiok. Mill our opponent. 16 cards. Pass the turn. Oh my goodness, this is so close. Opponent. Untaps. So we're going to be able to play the Aria Flame. We can't stop it. We go up to 20, but then our opponent's going to start to uh, deal damage as they cast spells, although they're also under Damping Sphere, so they can't cast too many. Serum Visions. Hits Ashiok. Opponent's also down to 11 cards in their deck. So we're not that far away from milling our opponent out. Wow, this is ridiculously close. Two cards on top. Opponent goes to combat. I assume they have to hit Ashiok. Wow, hitting our face. All right, down to 18. And, wow, what a weird match. Opponent passes. Well, we will crack the relic, draw a card. Mill our opponent. Untap. Mill our opponent. Ashiok. Mill our opponent. Four cards. Serum Visions. Uh, top and top. Mill our opponent. Two cards. Relic. And game. Taking down Storm and the control yet. Uh oh. About it. Doing something. Desperate Ritual. Okay. Down to 16. There's no way. There's no way. Desperate Ritual. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Are we going to die to this? Are they just going to have literally enough rituals in hand to kill us through a damping sphere? They need two more spells. They would have to be able to cast every spell in their hand. Oh my goodness, it's... Oh no! 
Oh no! You gotta be kidding. You have to be kidding. No way. No. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, and we... Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, it wasn't a win, but wow. 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 Huh. Wow, the odds on that seem so slim. But, uh, yeah, that actually does do it. Ho, 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 All right, next time, I guess. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So what did we learn this week about tutelage tribal in modern? And overall, video-wise, we went three and two, although asterisk, uh, the mono-white auras deck, which was actually very similar to a budget magic deck we played a few weeks ago, uh, that one, so we played it and lost, jumped into another match, it was the same person on the same deck, we lost again, jumped into another match, it was the same person on the same deck, and as soon as I realized it, I just conceded. So uh, we learned that that mono-white auras deck, it's a ridiculously bad matchup. That's the kind of deck that our deck struggles with, because if you look at Tutelage Tribal, what does it do well? It draws cards, it has some really sweet combo turns. We got to see the combo mill potential. On like turn 5, turn 6, we were just able to chain together our Visions of Beyond into more Visions of Beyond into the Mystical Sanctuary for more Visions of Beyond, and mill like 30, 40 cards in one turn. So we have this insane combo potential. The problem is, to really pull it off, we need two Tutelages on the battlefield. So we gotta get to at least turn 5, maybe turn six to really pull it off and we don't really have hard removal i mean we're a mono blue deck so we don't actually have like oh just kill your thing wrath your board instead we're getting by with like remands blink of an eyes other bounce spells thing in ice is a mass bounce spell more on the sideboard so dedicated aggro decks with a bunch of just like one drops that can attack and attack and attack build a huge creature with auras those are really tough matchups for our deck that's what we don't want to play although i will say one way that we could fix that problem quote unquote would be a non budget form we can go into like black maybe you get drown in the lock would be really good fatal pushes damnation so there are ways the problem is those ways ad require adding an extra color and adding extra color tough on a budget like we're already almost at a hundred dollars so even just getting bad dual lands in the deck not including like the fatal pushes and actual cars themselves not really possible while keeping our deck under budget but it is solvable certainly the aggro problem in non-budget form however we are really good against mid-range decks, control decks, even some combo decks, uh, are we are able to really compete in those matchups because they're not fast enough to like jank us out on turn three, turn four. Our counters can be good at slowing those decks down. And then we have this just insane combo potential where we win the game with this one big turn that no one expects. And because our main win cons are enchantments, most decks are not prepared for those. Like occasionally you run into Assassin's Trophy or something like that, uh, Abrupt Decay. But most decks are just not prepared for enchantments enchantments. They're designed to hate on creatures, planeswalkers, artifacts. Enchantments is like the bottom of the list of permanent types you're trying to kill, even behind lands probably in modern. So we're likely to be able to resolve them and have them sit out on the battlefield. And it doesn't take that many turds once we get a couple of tutelages going to just win the game. So overall, I mean, the deck is sweet. Yes, it's going to struggle with aggro. That is a concern. If your local meta is just like all burn decks and boggles decks, probably don't want to play this one. On the other hand, it's really good in other matchups, competitive enough that it can have about a winning record, give or take. And it's super fun. You draw a ton of cards, you win in a unique way. I had a blast playing the deck. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.